Welcome back to Sonora Living Live. Alrighty, telling your spouse or your loved one they've gained weight or they need to improve in the bedroom. <laughs> Those are not topics that we like to probably discuss. It makes us a little uncomfortable to say the least, uh, but uh, they are certainly topics that some folks say you need to have. That's right. You know what? As a matter of fact, these folks say you need to have those topics. Mike Lindstrom is a relationship expert and author, along with Brittany Rose, who's here to talk about an upcoming event that's all about taboo topics. Welcome to Thank both you. of you, and Thank welcome you. back, Thank Mike. Thank you so much. All right, so let's talk about the first taboo topic. Okay, giving each other constructive feedback weight gain or certain behaviors um, around the house or the family. Those are difficult to yep. bring up knowing that maybe it bothers us. Um, do we just deal right. with it or what? I, put, I say the word constructively very gently because mm -hmm. no one likes to hear that word constructive feedback. So I always like to think of it as honest sharing. And this is one of the toughest <laughs> subjects between couples. Look, we I change, like we gain weight. We, we, we don't do the things we used to do when we were in the courting phase. So having open discussions, you have to create an avenue or, you know, or a with each other to talk about these things. It's not easy to talk about these subjects, no. but you have to do it. And this is where people start to divide over the course of time because they change. Well, is, it, is there a certain amount of time that you should be with someone before that topic is okay to talk about? I mean, do you want to just go right in on the first date? You know, you know what? You're looking a little round around the middle. I mean, I don't, I don't think probably not on the first <laughs> date. No. <laughs> I got to go on a second date. Right. I mean, is there a grace period, Brittany, that we should kind of think about, or Mike? Well, Mike, I mean, I personally, I think, you know, I would wait a little longer than the first date. Yeah, no, I, I always say in the courting phase, dating is definitely not the time to do it. It's once you've cemented the relationship and you have the trust, the rapport, and you have the ability to talk to each other like that. Mm -hmm. If you're married, that's where the toughest mm -hmm. part of the taboo subject. You've been married five, seven years, gained a little bit of weight, you're not as attracted to your partner anymore. Are you going to talk about it or are you going to go find it somewhere else? I mean, these mm -hmm. are the kind of problems that happen in our society. Yeah, and it's not about, it's not about once you bring it up, um, you, you kind of roll with it. It's about when to bring it up and right. how to bring it up. Right. Let's talk about um, sharing the vision, honestly, of future goals. That's where you really need to be on the same page. Now, that's really important, not only just in the courting phase, dating, like Brittany talked about, but also in a marriage. Uh, people have, it's an evolution marriage, obviously, in a relationship. So having a clear vision of what you want, this would be around family planning. I've had this with my own clients where one person wanted three children, the other one wanted one. That's mm. a problem. You're two oh, years yeah. in a marriage. <laughs> you're just finding right. this out. Yeah, 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 and you're just finding these kind of things out. So you having compromise a, and have two. There you go. <laughs> well, that's usually what happens. There's, there's usually a compromise, but one person can feel an animosity towards the other because yeah. they're, they're not helping that person's path towards what they want towards their own goals. So, again, creating rituals. You know, my wife and I do Sunday night, Sunday night weekly planning our goals for the week. What do you want to get done this week? Oh, what are some things hey, that you want to do? So checking in with each other about what it is that you want. And what about your sex life? I mean, that's a topic that's My always personally? Said, not not oh, yours okay. personally. <laughs> not yours personally. That's between another you show. and your wife. But that is a topic that's really difficult. It's a difficult conversation, but you say it's one that should be had. Well, you know, it's funny. We host these taboo events. That's one of the hot topics, right? Sex. I mean, it's, yeah. everybody wants to bring it right up front. I usually like to tease it and we do our events. Mm -hmm. People don't want to wait till the last subject. They want to put it right up front <laughs> and talk it's a about it. very common subject at the events. Yeah, and the SEX is the most common thing, but it's it's not just the sex itself, it's your expectations. We call it sex expectations. The things that you have with each other. It's, you know, it's frequency. It's the things that you maybe used to do that you don't do anymore. I hear this so much with couples that have been together forever. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just the communication, having the ritual of talking mm -hmm. about these kind of things that most people struggle with. Uh, Brittany, why do you decide to, to put these events together? Why is that important? Well, our happiest hour is really dedicated to featuring local venues local authors, local businesses. So we put these events together to highlight them and to highlight the venues and get everybody together. We usually do one or two a month. To, to feature different, uh, like we've, yeah. we've featured Mike a couple times yeah. now and the taboo events are just a lot of fun and they get everybody engaged and it's just a really fun time. And we also like to bring in people from the Valley. Troy Paleska is a, a very big promoter at Epic Entertainment. Uh, Stacy Click's a big family attorney, 20 years. So I always think as the host, when I'm talking about relationships, who would I want to bring in? Mm -hmm. People who are in the singles world, people that are in the divorce married world. I mean, Stacy deals with 20 years of, you know, of, of legal issues between couples. I get to hear it in the reality on the backside that the divorce the custody issues. So we bring all this stuff to the venue and talk about it because these are things people just don't want to talk about. Right, mm -hmm. right. And we should because that's how that's how relationships last. Brittany, Mike, thank you very, very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so much. Thank we, you. we do have all of the information about the upcoming event on our website, yep. sonoranliving.com. Thanks to Thanks both Thanks so much. Appreciate it.